All right, time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss uh, old trigonometric trigonometry uh, graphing and look at uh, sine, cosine, and tan functions. Well, basically, uh, well, if you look at let's say sine, you know, from my other video, sine of theta angles just opposite over hypotenuse. So then, if you have let's say a triangle like this, this is call this x. This is y. Uh, so if you have a triangle like this, so this is theta. So basically, yeah, you'll have this is OP over H. So it's just a ratio of this. When it's perfectly uh, flat like this, OP is equal to zero, and H is equal to one here. We'll just have a let's say H is equals to one, but it doesn't matter. So then you'll have, yeah. So you'll have sine is equal to zero. So sine of zero equals zero. Then it goes here. You just have a vertical line up here where these OP and, and H equal uh, the same. So they equal, or let's say equals one, and you'll just have one. So basically, um, what this graphing is, instead of having X as the, uh, let's say this coordinate, you'll have theta. So we'll do it like this. So, so you draw it like this. Let's call this uh, Y, and Y is equal to, well, yeah, this is just sine theta. And then this is theta now instead of x. So it's f so we're actually graphing this. So at zero, it's gonna be zero. As you, as you can see, the highest value is, uh, is just one. You can see my other video for better clarification. So the highest value is one. The lowest value is actually a negative one for this kind of graph. And and then at this is ninety degrees. At ninety degrees, we'll get. Yeah, we'll just get one. So it goes up like this. So it goes up to 190, and this is 180. This is 180 is again it's zero, just a horizontal line. So then it goes to 180, and that's just zero. So this just goes to zero. And then uh, yeah, so this goes to zero. Then at here it's a negative. Uh, so this is at uh, 270. 270 degrees. It's actually just negative one. And then it goes to here. This is uh, 360 degrees, which is another horizontal line. And then this is the um, period of it. So period is just uh, yeah 360 degrees, or this is uh, two pi. So this is also this is equal to two, two pi. This is just equal to pi. And this is pi over two, and this one is yeah this is three pi over two. So yeah this is something like that. Okay, so basically, yeah, this is period means is what before it starts repeating itself. So then, if you look at this one's actually just gonna go like this, so you're gonna see that uh, it's gonna follow exactly this pattern, and this is this pattern. This is two pi as well from here to all the way wherever this is. So basically, that's how the sine graph looks like. And then let's say uh, let's look at a cosine graph, cosine. So yeah, cosine theta, this one's just uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. And then if you look at that uh, triangle again, so this is theta. Let's call this x. This is y. And this is a, uh, this is h. So basically, uh, when this is horizontal, these h and a equals 1. So at, at horizontal, h equals a, and the ratio is equals to 1. So cosine 0 equals, yeah, 0 equals one and then when it's horizontal when it's vertical a is zero so you're gonna have it's gonna equal to zero so it's gonna be very similar to this one except it's gonna look like this one you'll have so if you graph it yeah so if you were to graph it so this is x uh, this is theta never not the other one so when uh, theta is zero it's actually just equal to one so at 90 now, this is when it's uh, vertical up. This is 90 degrees or vertical. It's a zero, and then it it then if you it's exactly the same. It's just shifted up the sign one. So then when it's 180, this just becomes negative one. So it it goes like this. So it kind of goes like this, and then um, yeah, it goes like this. So, and then this value here is 360, and this is at one. Yes, yeah, so this is one this is the highest and negative one. So it's plus one. And then this is yeah, two seventy. And this is again this is either this is two pi, this is three hundred and 
3 pi over 2, and this is pi, it's pi over 2. Yeah, this, uh, this numbering one is a bit weird. If you look at my other video on um, tau, you'll see that's much better. But uh, anyways, uh, so then this one again, the period, that's what it's called, is this period definition when it's uh, before it repeats. So this period again equals 2 pi or 360 degrees. It's 2 pi radians, you see my other video on radians. And then again, it, it, it repeats. So sine, cosine, yeah, they, they all repeat. Now if you look at tan, tan's an interesting one. Let's go tan theta. This one's equal to all opposite over adjacent. And then, yeah, if you see my other video on that, so you'll have is again, if you look at the triangle again, always look at a triangle when you do a trig, it just makes things easier. So OP over A. And this is X, this is Y, this is X. So you see here when it's uh, perfectly um, straight, when it's horizontal, when this is the angle equals zero, it'll be like this OP is equal to zero. And then, so then tan theta is equal to zero. Yeah, and, and this one, the A is just equal to this A. So you see that, and then when it's perfectly vertical, when it's vertical up like this, A equals zero, OP equals, yeah, OP just equals uh, whatever it is, OP. So then you'll have OP, or if this is equal to one, you'll have yeah OP over zero or one over zero, and this is, it goes to infinity. So it goes to infinity or undefined. Yeah, because you know one divided by zero goes into one infinity times, zero goes into anything infinity times, and then this is uh yeah then this also follows the the pattern, which this is yeah this follows this is, has its own pattern unique pattern. So if you were to draw it, let's go tan theta. Let's go draw this. Let's draw this one. This theta. This is uh, y is equal to tan theta. So at zero, at zero. At pi over two, this is or ninety degrees. It goes to infinity, so it's an asymptote here. This is an asymptote line. Asymptote line. So that's basically the asymptote line is just it reaches it but never actually goes to it. That's what that's the definition of it. So this one actually looks like this. So it goes like this. So this is how it is, and then it uh, it uh, it's actually the same thing here if it's um. If you look at 270 degrees or or negative, so this is if you go to 270 or negative. Um, so if you go back here, negative 90 degrees, then it's going to be the same thing except your opposite's negative. So then it's going to be negative down. So you're going to have let's say negative pi over two, and this one's going to be like this, and then this adds asymptote and it goes to infinity there. So the period now. So this is the period is when it repeats. Period is just equal to pi. Yeah, whereas the other one is two pi, because now this is just pi over two plus pi over two. This is just the length from there to there. That's all it is before it repeats. So what actually happens is, uh, yeah, so then you'll have, let's say this is 180, 180 is zero, then you'll have 270, and 270 is an asymptote. So it goes like this. And then, uh, yeah, this is 270 or two pi over three. Pi. So again, this is this re repeat. This goes to infinity there, and this goes to infinity there. And then this this keeps going on again. So that's uh, that's uh, one thing about. Yeah, this one's like this. this is a negative two seventy. This is one eighty negative. And then uh, this goes down like that. Yeah. So uh, so basically, a uh, key fe feature of about these they repeat itself. So the, all these uh, they repeat. And uh, this is actually very important and uh, yeah, very important in different applications. You'll have like any uh, s silico or sil like any anything that goes around any s silico uh, applications or whatnot, where it changes like that. So basically, ev it could even um, so basically this could e even model a motor or whatever where it goes up and down or or a bike wheel. Or or whatnot. So basically, if you have a bike wheel like this, like that, or something like that, so th this highest point, it it follows. If you were to spin it, so then it would follow a. 
So it, it would be like highest point here, then it would go to the lowest point at like 180 degrees there. So it would go like this. So basically it would follow the same thing. So it would follow the same thing as, so yeah, you would use it to, um, yeah, to basically model certain stuff like this. It comes up in a lot of engineering and whatnot. Well, there's basically a quick uh, intro to the graphing on this. I'll show you um, how you could change graphs. So let's say you have a sine 2 theta and whatnot. Let's show you another video. Well, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for another Math Easy Solutions.